House Speaker Greg Stumbo says lawmakers in Frankfurt have accomplished more in 30 days than they have in double that. And who are President Obama's picks for the final four? Here's Bill Bryant with today's Political Notebook. Hello there. Kentucky House Speaker Greg Stumbo says the 30-day legislative session has been more productive than most 60-day sessions. And he has words of praise for the governor and the Republican Senate President, David Williams, for making it possible. Stumbo, who's a staunch Democrat, says for once, lawmakers dropped their partisan differences and decided to accomplish some important things for the Commonwealth. You know, what I always tell people about David Williams is he gets a bum rap a lot of times. David Williams is a progressive thinker. He, he was a supporter of the Education Reform Act when he was in the House in 1990, and that was a very courageous thing for him to do. And uh, he's, uh, he was just wonderful to work with, and, and he and Governor Bashir developed, I think, a, a trust of each other. Looks like things. Stumbo says there was major progress on education, state roads, and facing up to a huge budget shortfall with cuts and higher tobacco and alcohol fees. Stumbo and Governor Bashir appear on Kentucky Newsmakers this Saturday morning at 11. Stumbo is also predicting a statewide public indoor smoking ban will be passed at some point in the near future. Although Senate President David Williams and Governor Bashir say they support a ban, no bill surfaced during the current legislative session. Dr. Ellen Hahn runs the Kentucky Center for Smoke-Free Policy. She told a Bowling Green group that Kentucky needs a ban and millions of dollars to enforce it. Conservative columnist Jim Waters says a ban threatens private property rights and is an intrusion of government into the workplace. This week, Virginia passed a ban for restaurants and bars. Ohio and Tennessee are among other Kentucky border states with smoking bans. And basketball is certainly big in Kentucky, but March Madness has made its way to the White House as well with a basketball playing president. Some are calling it Barackatology. President Obama filling out his NCAA brackets. His final four, Louisville, North Carolina, Pittsburgh, and Memphis. The FL-CIO and Vice President Joe Biden are reportedly among those urging moderate Pennsylvania Republican Senator Arlen Specter to switch parties. Specter faces a conservative primary challenger next year if he remains a Republican. Some Democrats promise him an easy nomination if he switches. Bill Bryant, WKYT 27 News First.